Hi, I'm Hussein Dulai. In this video, we'll, we will see how we can add a Google AdMob ads inside our uh, Xamarin Forms uh, application. To do that, we will use uh, NuGet uh, packages. So, to install the NuGet package, I'll go to the solution, right click, and click Manage NuGet packages for solution. And here we'll have um, uh, this uh, NuGet package manager. And here I go and select nuget.org and search for for AdMob AdMob view. And here we'll get this package called zam.forms plugin.admob view. And we want to install it inside uh, all of our uh, applications. It supports uh, Android and Windows Phone, but not yet uh, iOS. That may be uh, an upcoming feature. So I click Install. And here I can add the AdMob view inside my, uh, uh, my page. So here, inside this uh, layout, Inside the stack layout, I have the uh, the panel, and I want to add also the control, which is called add mob uh, view. And here, yeah, as you uh, you saw, so it adds the using the package of the Xamarin Forms plugin dot abstractions, which contains the implementation of the add mob view. And with the add mob view, as you know, we should add the add unit ID. The add unit ID you can uh, get it from the uh, from the Google AdMob uh, website. So I'll include an existing AdMob ID that I have. So let's try this one. And let's run our application. Let's start by Windows Phone. So I'll go here and um, set a startup project. And here I select the device. And here is the ad is uh, displaying. So now let's try it for uh, Android. And here inside my Android uh, application, there is a readme file uh, text here that, uh, that was added by the, uh, the NuGet package. And here it tells, don't forget to add the following and to your uh, uh, manifest file. So I should add this code as it is required by, um, by uh, um, AdMob uh, view. So I paste that code here inside my application. Save that. And here I'll go and select the Android project and set a startup project. Now I select my device and click F5. So here we are adding the AdMob view inside our uh, C Sharp uh, code. What we can do is that we can uh, add the AdMob view inside your Xamarin uh, page. So I'll go here and add another page, new item. I add form Xamarin page. Let's call it the page one. And inside the page one, I'll remove the default label. And here I'll add uh, the AdMob view. So here I'm using C Sharp, so add enter, then it will add um, the namespace for me, which is uh, this one. Then the add view here, I can add the add unit ID from the, um, from the XAML uh, page. So I'll use the same, uh, the same unit ID that I used before. Copy and paste it. And here I want my ad to be um, displayed at the center of my screen. And 
here I try it first to uh, Windows Phone, click F5. Uh, yeah, here I should, of course, uh, I should stop this and come back to app.cs and here I should change uh, the main page to be the page one. The starting, uh, the starting page should be, of course, our uh, our page one. Click F5 now, and let's see it. Here it is inside our uh, Windows Phone uh, project. Of course, the same code is working for, for Android, but not yet for, for iOS. iOS is not yet supported by, by this uh, plugin. So thank you.